Hello children good morning everyone and today we are going to see an interesting topic lesson 4 bird migration according to the definition for migration the dictionary definition of migratory bird is a bird that travels from one place to another at regular times often over long distance children human beings move from their birthplace to other place for jobs or work they also visit different places moving from one place to another for some purpose is migrating see from tamil nadu people shift to karnataka bangalore nearby so they are migrant workers they move for their job birds like human beings move from their native lands to other lands in search of food or shelter when the climate is not suitable for them to survive in their native lands migration is most evident among birds most species because of their high metabolic rate require a rich abundant supply of food at frequent intervals such a situation does not always prevail throughout the year in any given region birds have thus evolved a highly efficient means for traveling swiftly over long distance with great economy of energy why do birds migrate Birds migrate to move from areas of low or decreasing resources to areas of high or increasing resources. The two primary resources being sought are food and nesting locations. Birds that nest in the northern hemisphere tend to migrate northward in the spring to take advantage of burgeoning insect population budding plants and an abundance of nesting locations as winter approaches and availability of insects and other food drops the birds move south again escaping the cold in a motivating factor but many species including hummingbirds can withstand freezing temperatures as long as an adequate supply of food is available birds are a man's and the environment's best friends they could be kept as pets they can perform marvelous feats like human beings who go in search of job opportunities to earn their living birds travel from place to place for different reason Their movement is seasonal. There are surprising facts about their movement. So there are types of migration. The term migration describes periodic large scale movements of population of animals. One way to look at migration is to consider the distance traveled. See permanent residents do not migrate. they are able to find adequate supplies of food year round short distance migrants move only a short distance as from higher to lower elevation on a mountain side medium distance migrants cover distances that span from one to several states Long distance migrants typically move from breeding ranges in the United States and Canada to wintering grounds in Central and South America. Despite the journey involved, long distance migration is a feature of some 350 species of North American birds. The pattern of migration can vary within each category. but is most variable in short and medium distance migrants how do 
birds know when to migrate. Most often it is the length of daytime and temperature that makes birds aware that it is time to migrate. During winter as the temperature drops they start flying to warmer place. Some birds have magnetic based receptors above their nostrils which help them to use Earth's magnetic field as a compass. The migration of birds is an old as a history of mankind. It is a surprise. See, the answer is not satisfactory. But however, there are many facts related to the amazing phenomena called bird migration. Birds migrate for various reasons. For instance, it is observed that during winter birds go to warmer places because some of them cannot survive. The birds that feed on insects will not be able to find their foods in winter. Weather conditions alone would not make birds migrate. Birds migrate depending on the seasons. So, how do the birds identify the seasonal changes? It is said that birds can find the seasonal changes by knowing the length of the day. It is also believed that birds can understand it. When days get shorter and when they get longer, this ability in birds functions like an alarm clock. Why is migration of birds very important? Why? Birds migrate to survive. Learning about migration is one of the best ways to understand the risks that birds and other animals must take in their daily lives and it's a great way to interpret the changes you can see in the bird life around you. Birds breed in summer and this is also connected with migration. See during this season birds migrate northward the change in the length of the days and the lack of food tell the birds to migrate to suitable places. The breeding instincts helps them migrate up north. In late summer, many birds fly down south. Sometimes they travel to different continents and return to their nest in their own country in spring. Their ability to find their home is an amazing as their readiness to migrate. So, shall we read our lesson first, this fourth lesson. See in this what they have written. This is your lesson page. Birds are a man's and the environment's best friends. They could be kept as pets. They can perform marvelous feats like human beings who go in search of job opportunities to earn their livings. Birds travel from place to place for different reasons. Their movement is seasonal and there are surprising facts about their movement. So, see, all the birds, now we can understand, see there is a pattern of migration, why they move, how they move, what is the reason to migrate. So, after all this, see here, while short distance migrations probably developed from a fairly simple for food, 
the origins of long distance migration patterns are much more complex like they have evolved over thousands of years and are controlled at least partially by the genetic makeup of the birds they also incorporate response to weather geography food sources day length and other factors see the seasonal abundance of insects food and greater day length allowed them to raise more young than their stay at home tropical relatives as their breeding zone moved from north during periods of glacial retreat the birds continued to return to their tropical homes as winter weather and declined food supplies made life more difficult so how do birds find their way home this ability to find their homes is an amazing thing there is a belief that birds can understand the magnetic fields that surround the earth these magnetic fields run from the north to south poles perhaps the birds are directed themselves by these lines of force however this theory has not been proved so just a recap of this lesson today's lesson birds are a man's and the environs best friend so birds can travel from place to place so we have seen what are the types of migration and why do birds migrate and how do they migrate so we have seen birds migrate from low or decreasing resources to areas of high or increasing resources so the main two resources are either for food and the nesting so what are the types of migrations see there are permanent residents they do not migrate so they live in their own house and they get food for a full year for their lifetime and short distance migrates they just move from higher to lower elevations on a mountain side and the medium distance migrants they move from space to small space to uh, several states okay long distance migrants they move from stay country to country to continents okay united states and canada they move from there to south america like that okay It, so there are more than 350 species that moves for a long distance migrants hardwoods environment human being movement seasonal surprising reasons opportunities marvelous perform migration children and today's homework is write the hard words five times just write in your own words why do you think birds migrate what words would you use to describe animals and birds you can write it down in the rough note okay meet you in the continuation of the same class tomorrow thank you children